greenhorn guy. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a one second knot called the flying bowline. Also called the tugboat bowline. This knot is very important on fishing boats especially, or really any kind of sea vessel, because sometimes you'll be in an important scenario where someone may be in danger of falling in the water and you need to throw them a line of some kind. But throwing them a line with no loop in it is almost useless, especially if they're entering stages of hypothermia. Their hands may not be able to close properly. They're going to need something good to hold on to. So, if you only have a couple of seconds, you need to make most of that time so that you can make a life-saving knot for that person that's gone overboard. This also makes a great party trick. I'll show you this knot one more time. I'll try that a little bit slower and walk you through your steps. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right length of rope available. I kind of like having about a leg's length of rope in each hand. I'm a tall person, so you might want to add a little bit more rope for yourself. Either side is okay when you start practicing. I'm right-handed, so I like having everything in my right hand here. You're going to step on the rope with one foot. And with the hand on the side of the foot that you're stepping on the rope with, you're going to flip the rope over and make a loop. Once you have that loop, you're going to take the loose end of the rope, whip it around one time so that it falls right on top of the loop you just made. One more time, you're going to want to whip it around the front, coming up from the back. Once you have these two loops, you're going to reach through with the hand that was holding the first loop and grab this new loop you can pull that through. If you can grab this tail at the same time, that will make it easier. Make sure the knot doesn't fall out. We'll do it one more time at speed. When the knot comes out, it should look a lot like a bowline. It's not a true bowline because of the way that the bite comes out from it. On a true bowline, one line would be coming up from here, and the loop would be on the bottom. But this is the tugboat bowline, so it looks a bit different. One more tip. I like using a heavy rope when I do this. Light ropes can sometimes get a bit easily tangled, but it will work just the same. That's all for today, folks. Replay this video as much as you want for practice. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like this video. And if you want to learn more about skills that can help you get seasonal jobs like fishing in Alaska or working in a seafood processor, then go ahead and subscribe and show you a lot more videos like that. And this has been the Greenhorn Guide. And until next time, peace.